Since the debut of the Likely and Datamine series in February 2022, a significant number of the tracks we have listed in each episode have since surfaced in both Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. More specifically, we have made mention of 12 Datamine tracks that have since debuted across both games. Additionally, we classified Mario Kart Tour tracks as Likely tracks. As of March 2023, every single Booster Course Pass edition has either been previously available in Mario Kart Tour or added later. The only outlier is Yoshi's Island, which was data mined for Mario Kart Tour last year. We even covered it on this channel back in 2022 and even speculated how it could even look. Greetings everyone, I'm Swiftjar, Hello. and this video serves as an update to provide a comprehensive overview of all the current Likely and Datamine tracks. As with this video's predecessors, this video may offer insights to what we could potentially expect in terms of future updates for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart Tour. To avoid any potential spoilers in this video, please be aware that this does contain datamine information. It is also important to note that datamine information is not guaranteed to be accurate, and it should always be treated with caution. To better navigate the video, you can utilize the timestamps below. You can even use them to skip to the giveaway at the end. But small hint, just be subscribed and you'll be part of the giveaway regardless. Radio. At this point in time, 32 tracks have now been released for the Booster Course Pass, with another 16 set to release in 2023. Building on this series past success, this episode will continue the trend of categorizing all Mario Kart Tour tracks that are not currently present in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe as likely tracks. So let's go ahead and start with the likely Nitro tracks that originated in Mario Kart Tour. Since my last update video in December, there have been no brand new city tracks added to Mario Kart Tour. We did however receive a brand new Nitro track in Piranha Plant Co. And it comes with separate variants. We also received a whopping 3 Mario Kart Tour city tracks in Wave 4, being Amsterdam Drift, Bangkok Rush and Singapore Speedway. This means there are three Mario Kart Tour tracks that are yet to make their way over to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. These likely tracks are LA Laps, Vancouver Velocity, and Piranha Plant Cove. Given the strong emphasis on the Tour tracks in the Booster Course Pass, I am extremely confident that we're going to see all three tracks very soon. Turning our attention now to Super Mario Kart, we have seen seven tracks that have been designed specifically for Mario Kart Tour without taking into account their numerous variants. As for recent developments, there haven't been any updates since our last video in December. Three Super Mario Kart tracks already exist in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Taking that into account, the likely tracks we can see based on Mario Kart Tour are Ghost Valley, Choco Island, Vanilla Lake, and Cooper Beach. Now let's shift our focus over to Mario Kart 64. At the present time, there are 7 N64 tracks that are developed for Mario Kart Tour, which remains the exact same since our last update video in December. There are also still 4 Nintendo 64 tracks from Mario Kart Tour that are in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe currently. Therefore, this leaves us with 3 Nintendo 64 tracks that could potentially make their way into the Boost Course Pass. These likely tracks are Koopa Trooper Beach, Frappe Snowland, and Luigi Raceway. This takes us to Mario Kart Super Circuit. As per my December update video, there were 7 GBA tracks in Mario Kart Tour, not including all the different variants, and this remains the exact same right now. We did however receive a brand new GBA track in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, with Riverside Park joining the party. This means that the likely GBA tracks that we can see are Bowser's Castle, Cheat Cheap Island, and Sunset Wilds. Now it's time to dive into my favourite game of the bunch being Mario Kart Double Dash. As I previously mentioned in my December update, there were 5 tracks from Double Dash in Mario Kart Tour, and once again, this remains unchanged right now. Yoshi Circuit and Baby Park are the only Tour Double Dash tracks that are currently in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. With Wave 4's release, Waluigi Stadium was also added, Therefore, we can safely assume it will be added to Tour in the near future. Ironically, this track was also mentioned back in the December episode as a datamine track. 
This means that the likely double dash tracks that we can expect to see are Daisy Cruiser, Dino Dino Jungle, and DK Mountain. This takes us on into Mario Kart DS. In my December update video, I mentioned that the likely DS tracks were Luigi's Mansion, Airship Fortress, and DK Pass. However, with Wave 4's release, we actually saw none of these. Instead, we saw a data mine track that I made mention of come to surface, being Mario Circuit. We also saw Mario Circuit and Shrew Ridge make their way into Mario Kart Tour. This took the list of 5 DS tracks previously to now 7. This brings us to Mario Kart Wii. Since my last update video in December, there have been two new Wii tracks added to Mario Kart Tour. These being Wii Rainbow Road and Wii Dry Dry Ruins. This takes the total number of Wii tracks in Tour to now 7. We also received DK Summer in Wave 4 of the Booster Course Pass. This means that there are now only 3 Wii Tour tracks that aren't currently in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Therefore, the likely Wii tracks are Cooper Cape, Wii Rainbow Road, and Dry Dry Ruins. Last, but definitely not least, this takes us to Mario Kart 7 on the Nintendo 3DS. There have been no new Mario Kart 3DS tracks since my last update video. This means there are still a whopping 12 Mario Kart 7 tracks that have been remade for Mario Kart Tour, with only 5 of these currently existing in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Therefore, the 7 3DS tracks that are likely to make their way over are Daisy Hills, Chi Chi Lagoon, Shy Guy Bazaar, Mario Circuit, Wario Shipyard, Rosalina's Ice World, and 3DS Bowser's Castle. And that rounds off all of the likely courses. Now let's get into some other potential courses based on past data mines, starting with Mario Kart Tour and then going into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. As mentioned at the start of this video, it's extremely hard to ignore that our past data mine information has had a really good track record. Since my first likely and data mine video back in February 2022, we have now seen 9 Day in the Mind Mario Kart Tour tracks come to surface. These specifically include Amsterdam Drift, Singapore Speedway, Mushroom Gorge, Daisy Cruiser, Luigi's Raceway, GBA Bowser's Castle 3, DK Mountain, Dry Dry Ruins, and Mario Circuit. Thanks to the CEO of Lasagna in the Swift Cafe Discord, the list of data mine courses on screen has now been updated. As you can observe, the list is extensive, and I invite you to pause the video and examine it more closely. Additionally, the Mario Kart Tour API website, also displayed on screen right now, contains its valuable information as well. It's worth noting the existence of several data mine coding and assets related to new Mario Kart Nitro tracks. In a previous video, I provided an overview of these assets and attempted to decipher their meaning. I'm also planning a future video to revisit this topic very soon, so stay tuned. Be sure you're in the Swift Cafe Discord server so you can chat and play online with Mario Kart fans 24 7. We even have our very own time trial competitions going on right now. You can find your invitation to the Swift Cafe server along with my Twitter handle down in the description below. Now, let us delve into the current and relevant data mine information for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. We will examine each data mine briefly and then explore its potential implications moving forward. Let's begin by examining the prefix data mine. This data mine is still very much alive and relevant today. The prefix data mine primarily focuses on identifying retro prefixes for upcoming waves. Although the courses in Wave 4 were not in the exact order that was anticipated, the Prefix League still correctly identified the Mario Kart games on which each track in the wave is based on. Therefore, it can be inferred that the Prefix League may be slightly outdated. However, it is still reasonable to expect a relatively similar lineup of tracks in the remaining DLC, with maybe a few potential changes in their order. Like we saw in Wave 3, where the Double Dash track was replaced by Wii Maple Treeway. Moving on, we have the Banner League Datamine. This is another relevant and reliable source of information. This datamine involves an updated promotional banner 
that featured several previously unannounced courses, many of which have now been released, such as Sky High Sunday and Wee Maple Treeway. There are also a few tracks that have been identified in the Banner League but are not currently present in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, these being Wii Cooper Kate, Tours LA Laps, and GBA Sunset Wilds. It's also worth mentioning that this image could simply be an outdated placeholder file, and the track images displayed on it may not necessarily be accurate. As an example, there was a Choco Mountain screenshot in the image with a Choco Mountain trick picture, despite it not even being included in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Next up, we have the soundtrack datamine. This is another relevant and very accurate source of information. This datamine involved the discovery of small snippets of unreleased course music during the release of Wave 2. With the release of Wave 3, this datamine was proven to be accurate, and all the courses that were included in Wave 3 had their soundtracks datamined. With Wave 4's release, this datamine's accuracy continued. There are only three soundtracks currently that were datamined that aren't in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. These are Tours Vancouver Velocity, Tours LA Laps, and GBA's Sunset Wilds. The final datamine to mention occurred during the release of Wave 4. Here it appears that the only thing Nintendo left in the files were map objects for Los Angeles Laps. This information was confirmed by credible dataminer Fish Guy in their Discord server. This serves as further confirmation that LA Laps will indeed be included in the game. Not that we needed it though. And this concludes all of the updated data mine information and the likely tracks for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and Mario Kart Tour. What is particularly exciting is that there are numerous tracks that could potentially be added to both Mario Kart Tour and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The guessing game is really hard at this point. How about you though? What do you think of this list? And let me know if there's anything that I missed. I'll be sure to include it in another future update video. If you enjoyed the video, it'd be much appreciated if you could leave a like and subscribe. Thank you! It honestly really helps out the channel a lot. We'll also be giving away another $30 eShop voucher once this channel hits 8,000 subscribers. To be part of the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. That's it. And finally, a massive shout out goes to all our members. All membership purchases are extremely valued, and I appreciate it beyond words. Until next time, take care and goodbye.